Good morning, everyone. This is me responding to Sachin's desperate pleas for Ab Urbe, number 19 to be translated. All in once, ambassadors of Venerant came to Rome from the Clusinians, seeking present participle, seeking help against the uh, the Senones, a Gaelic Gentem Gallicam, a Gaelic tribe. Then the Romans sent ambassadors, qui monoerent, to purpose clause here with qui replacing ut, to warn the Gauls not to attack friends of the Roman people. However, after the fight had started, abbot of absolute, let's move away far, far, far away from with the fight having been started. However, after the far fight had started, um, legati, the Roman um, ambassadors took up arms against the Jus Gentium. I believe that our notes actually said that this would be translated as the Law of Nations. I've never even heard of what the Law of Nations is. So I suppose, yeah, the Law of Tribes is what I was going to say, but here they want you to say that laws of na the Laws of Nations took up arms against the Law of Nations and brought help um, to the Clusinians. And brought help to the Clusinians. Um, the Senones... Uh, that we had earlier on, do not feature in that sentence. Galli, the Gauls, after they demanded from the Roman Senate that the Roman ambassadors um, be handed over after the um, uh, after the law of nations had been violated in such a way. Um, so I'll just do that sentence again with you. So there it is, um, starting off with Galli. Um, afterwards, the Gauls, so afterwards, the Gauls, bear with me here, afterwards, the Gauls demanded, Gallia, or afterwards, the Gauls demanded from the Roman Senate that, in direct command, that the Roman ambassadors be handed over because of, um, be handed over for the, uh, yeah, um, well, some people have said that it be handed over for international law, or it could be be handed over, um, or we could say, or be handed over in um, as a result of the international law having been thus violated in return for the, I think that that's actually better in return for the international law that had been violated in such a way. Hoc negato, having denied this, the, um, or after this was denied, the Gallic army set out to Rome. Abbot of Absolute again, hoc negato. After this was denied, the Gallic army set out to Rome. The Romans, who um, did not prepare for, um, uh, for such danger, the Romans, who had not prepared, let's say, who did not prepare idoneum suitably, ad tantum periculum, for such danger, Superati were defeated near the Alia um, River, were overpowered at the Alia River. The day on which this fight happened, um, the Romans afterwards called, um, uh, let's see, sorry, the day on which this battle happened, the Romans afterwards called the, um, the Alia I'm just looking to see in our notes if it gives you any more details about how they want you to call that, called the Alex of the Day. Um, after this happened, the Romans called the um, battles of the day on which this, uh, this battle occurred. Uh, Romani, the Romans, afterwards called Aliens, the, um, called after the, yeah, afterwards called the Alienza River, I suppose. Uh, double accusative with DM and Alienzem, it says that originally in 390 BC, Aliensis DA, the day of the Alia River, is celebrated every June the 18th. Wow, well, we're nearly coming up to the day of the Alia Alil Alililia River. Happy um, day of the Alililia River, everybody. So, Magna Paras, a great part of the army, fled unharmed to Vei. The remainder, Keteri, made for Rome and. Um, they hurried with their wives and the children, so the remainder, Keteri, made for Rome, and they contulerant, they um, hurried with their conjugibus, with their wives and their children, 
into the capital line, onto the capital line um, citadel. Nay, um, because the gates of the city were not closed. So the others made for Rome, and nay, with the gates of the city not closed, they, and because the gates of the city were not ho um, were not closed, we could say they made for the Capitoline Hill, the Capitolium or the Capitolinum, they made for the Capitoline Hill. Um, the two peaks it says there are the Capitoline Hill, are the Capitolium, seat of the Temple of Jupiter, um, Maximus, and they made for the Capitolium um, because the gates of the um, of the city had not been closed. Galli ingressi, the Gauls, egressi, ingressi rather, having entered the city, parcunt, spared no one, and they deripiunt, and they destroyed, and they burnt down present tenses, but remember what we said in these, we're going to make them past tenses, um, but they destroyed and they burnt down buildings, post aliquot dies. Um, after several days, after a few days, they made an attack, post aliquot dies, testuduna um, facta, they made an attack on the citadel, um, and uh, and then I've just left out. So after a few days, they made an attack on the citadel. Again, it's got the um, testuduna, the tortoise is a close formation of troops. So um, after the tortoise had, um, the Tortoise formation had been made. They made an attack on the citadel, having um, abbot of absolute, having made a tortoise shell formation. After a few days, having um, made a tortoise shell formation, they made an attack on the citadel at Romani Medio Fere Cole. But the Romans resisted almost in the middle of the hill at the Romani. But the Romans Fere Medio Medio Cole almost in the middle of the hill, resisted, and then from a superior and inde, and from there, from a, and ex logo, and inde, from there, from a superior position, having made an attack in petu facto, after they'd made an attack out of absolute, they drove off the Gauls, obsidio um, inde. Then, from there, a siege was prepared by the Gauls. Pars exercitus, part of the Gaelic army, part of the Gaelic army, genitor there, Gallici, was sent out ad frumentum, literally for corn to be gathered, to gather corn. That's a gerundive, but it might sound better, I've suggested before, if you actually make it active. So it's a gerundive because it's a green, and I know you haven't met these yet, but it's a green with a frumentum, which, um, so it's a passive verbal adjective, but rather than saying part of the Gallic army was sent out, rather than saying for corn to be gathered, we'd say to gather corn, to gather grain. Um, ex agris, from the fields of the neighbouring people. Hos fortuna ipsa. The chance itself, duxit, led them to Ardea, where Camillus, a very famous general, was living in exile. The Ardeans, Ardeates, with him as their leader, attacked the camp of the Gauls at night, and they trucidant, attacked the Gauls at night, and they slaughtered them, and they killed them, trucidant, while they were relaxed by sleep, while they were sleeping. Um, so the Ardeans, with him as leader, attacked the camp of the Gauls at night, and with them, solutos, somno, and killed them, solutos, um, loosened but relaxed, I suppose you could say, um, killed them, relaxed, with sleep. <coughs> While they were asleep is fine. Vase interim. Meanwhile, at they, locative there, Meanwhile, at they, non ami, enemy, meanwhile, at they, not only their courage, but also their strength, said Etienne Weirdes. Remember Weirdes, please remember Weirdes, 
third declension now, I mean, it's not witty, so it's not men growing, it's the strength was growing. Meanwhile, very not only their courage, but also day by day in Diaz, their strength was growing. Nam Praetor, four, besides the Romans who had fled there, for in addition to the Romans who had fled there from the Alia battle, ex pugna aliensi, volunteers were gathering from Latium. These men, the volunteers, had, he decided now to free, liberare Rome from their enemies. It pleased everyone that, in personal verb there, black, wet, omnibus, it pleased all that Camulus be Arcesi, present passive infinitive indirect statement, that Camulus be summoned, but, so it pleased everyone that Camulus be summoned, but beforehand that the Senate, Consuli, to be consulted, but beforehand that the Senate be consulted. Two indirect statements there, two present th um, third conjugation verbs in the present passive infinitive, ad am. For that task, Pontius Cominius, a brave young man, sublevatus, this all sounds rather strange, but um, lifted, transported on the back of on the back, on the bark of tree, as in on the cork of tree. So, um, for this task, Pontius Cominius, a brave young man, carried on the bark of a, um, of a tree, was brought along the Tiber to the city, Urbi. Senato Provente, with the Senate approving, Camillus was made dictator. Gosh, I, hope to, don't, I hope I don't run out of time with my YouTube clip. Um, meanwhile, interim, I need to be fast. Meanwhile, the citadel of Rome and the Capitoline were in great danger. For nocte, for by night the Gauls, pri misse, um, for by night the Gauls, with a soldier having been sent forth, that's what I said, don't do. So um, after a soldier had been sent forth, qui, plus the subjunctive, to try and find a way, tanto, um, with, uh, with such great silence, um, he climbed onto the summit of the hill. So he, Evaserunt, he climbed or escaped onto the top of the hill with such silence that not only did, um, that not only did he, um, sorry, did I say soldier sent out, climbed onto the summit of the hill with such great silence that they not only deceived the guards, Valerant, it's not the guy himself, it's the, um, it's the Gauls, but they also did not wake up the guard dogs and Ceres. However, they did not deceive the geese who were sacred birds, who were the sacred birds of Juno. For Marcus Manlius, a man outstanding in war, I know this seems very, very strange, a man exceptional in war, having been woken up by the honking, sorry about my, the bell going behind, um, having been woken up, excitatus, perfect passive participle, not only by their honking, but by the sound of their flapping wings, deecit, threw down, hurled down the Gaul who had stood on the summit. And now, the rest of the Romans fought off the enemy with spears and stones. And now, the other Romans fought off the enemies with spears and stones, and the whole battle line um, of the Gauls was fought off head first, was brought down head first, said Farmers, but famine was pressing each army. By the way, in, uh, in memory of this, they used to have a um, celebration of geese when geese were carried down in a triumph on pillows and dogs were sacrificed as punishment. There's a little random fact for you. But hunger was now, um, but hunger was now pressing each army and disease was also pressing down on the Gauls. Hunger was now pressing down each army, and disease was also pressing down on the Gauls. Diem. Day by day, the Romans were waiting in vain for help from the dictator. Finally, an agreement was made. Postremo. Finally, they pactisunt. Finally, they agreed to pone a verb um, with a uh, with a thousand pounds. An agreement was made with a thousand pounds of gold. That they would relinquish that they would relinquish the siege. To this matter, to this situation, um, per se itself, 
torpissima, most wretched, most shameful, an indignity was added, for unequal, iniqua weights were alata, were brought, alata from Pharaoh, were brought from the Gauls, irregular verb Pharaoh. With the Romans arguing, a sword was added as weight by Brennus, the king of the Gauls, with these words, vi victis. Woe to the conquered, famous phrase, but basically the powerlessness of being defeated. But before the matter was finalized, before the situation was finalized, dictator, the dictator, i.e. Camillus, arrived and he ordered for the gold to be removed from the middle and from, um, from the middle and for the gold to be driven off. They, when they were saying to him that they had made an agreement, indirect statement, he denied that that agreement was valid, which had been um, created after he himself, uh, sorry, which after he himself had been made dictator, had not been facta s carried out by his command. Tum, then he denuntiat, then he announced to the Gauls, then he to told the Gauls to prepare themselves for battle. Galli. The Gauls, just finding my place here, I'm going through that. The Gauls were overpowered both in the city and in another battle on the Via Gabina. The Gauls were overpowered both in the city and in another battle on the Via Gabina. The dictator in triumph or triumphing, if that were a verb, returned into the city, in triumph returned to the city. Um, he um, was being called Romulus, and similar to the bit that we did recently, and father of the, um, and the parent of the fatherland and a new founder of the city, and an alter conditor and a new founder of the city, generative there, I don't want to tell you that. Then um, he saved the fatherland that had been saved in war, again in peace. For when the tribunes were encouraging the, um, the people to, in direct command, to migrate to V, to move to V, with um, having left behind the ruins of Rome, Camillus, in a speech, um, Camillus, in a fierce speech, persuaded these citizens to, in direct command, to return to Rome. Also, a centurion moved the people after raising his voice at the right time. So a centurion also moved the people, having raised his voice opportune at an opportunistic moment at the right time, who um, shouted while crossing the forum, who while crossing the forum with his cohorts, shouted, standard bearer, um, signified, standard bearer, evocative, set up the standard, statue, set down, a um, establish the standard, we will remain here, Optime most correctly. Having heard this voice, after his voice was heard, both the Senate, so having heard this message, both the Senate, having left perfect active participle from the Senate House, um, shouted that they accepted the omen, indirect statement, and the people, probawerunt, and the people who surrounded them, having surrounded them, um, probably weren't approved. Hopefully this will load up onto YouTube. I look forward to seeing you all next lesson. Thank you, everybody.